Ron Marbury here, and we're here to celebrate the announcement of the shortlist by Peter Garrett, which is very exciting, at Reading's Bookshop in Carlton. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to ask Peter a couple of questions. Um, perhaps you can tell us a bit about the background of the prizes and what, what you're hoping to achieve with them. Yeah, look, the PM's Literary Awards are really there to um, identify and profile those outstanding writers that we've got writing across a range of genres, fiction and non-fiction, and this year we're including young people's work as well. Yeah. And uh, they've been going since 2008, and they're, it's a rich literary prize, but it, really, but it really is there not only to do that profiling, but also just to get people interested in reading and just make sure that we've got a really good, healthy book industry. And, um, you uh, introduced the, the children's section this year, which is great. Uh, a poet friend of mine said, what about poetry? Yeah, look, it's the next question that's been asked before. I think for the moment we'll concentrate on the literary right. side in terms of the categories that we've identified. Appreciate that poetry is pretty important. Yes. <laughs> um, and also knowing that there's a bit of a discussion about all these prizes. I think they're good. You know, I think the fact that you're actually giving someone an opportunity to be recognised, giving you know, uh, shops like yourselves the opportunities to promote people in that way, is actually a pretty good thing for Australian literature. Now, um, earlier on the year, um, there was a bit of controversy. Alex Miller had a go at the prizes and said uh, the money should have gone to something like Miles Franklin. Do you have a view on that? Yeah, look, I didn't agree with what uh, Alex said. I think that we've got space in our literary landscape for more than one set of prizes or just a couple. I think it's good to have uh, a prize like this. And it actually expands the opportunities for authors and for the reading public. And we do know that when people either are nominated or if they win, uh, it actually makes a difference to their book sales. So I think we're a big enough country to take uh, more than a couple of prizes that are already there. And I think to have the Prime Minister's Literary Awards, it's a nice national recognition. Yeah. Um, what about if, what if the Miles Franklin did approach you? Would you entertain some sort of help on? Well, I th the, the Miles is doing its own thing and it does it well. You know, and, uh, and we'll continue to, to, to run this one and make sure it does as well as it can. Okay. Um, you've got some terrific programs going for literature, like Get Reading, as you referred to, and support for the Australia Council and Learning Rights. Uh, are there other things you'd like to? I remember once you said it was a shame that writers had to live on so little money. Yeah, look, I think that the programs that we've got in do genuinely deliver for writers and for our literary culture and for the industry. Um, obviously, we'd like to see people increase their earnings over time, and the programs that are already in place are there to do that. But what we're really doing also is going back and looking at artists when they begin their careers, whether they're writers or painters or sculptors or working in digital areas, right. and just seeing how they can get set on a more sustainable platform in the early days, which is quite often not about their talent, but it's about other obstacles that there may be, whether it's business uh, advice or uh, research infrastructure or whatever. And so we're investing quite a lot in that area too. So that's something you'd be looking at? Well, we're already doing right, it with right. a couple of programs that right. I think are very important. One called Art Start, for example, right. which helps young graduates as they come through be given the opportunity to have a grant for things like, say, for example, bookkeeping and accounting resources or perhaps it's materials. It's not to do with their talent. It's just the sort of things they can't afford to do at an early age. What that means is that they get their career onto a sustainable path early. It means their earnings are better later on. And where do people find out about that? Uh, the Australia Council is the right place to right. go to find out about those programs. And finally, I know you're terribly busy with the election coming up. <laughs> what have you had a chance to read lately? Well, uh, I actually started to dip into the shortlist for the PM's Literary Awards. It's one of the really exciting things as Minister. I don't get enough time. So I've already had a go at uh, Dog Boy and started with that. And that writing is fantastic. Uh, the book by Grace Caskins, uh, which I think is on the uh, non-fiction uh, list here, is a, is a wonderful book. Uh, and I'm also very impressed with where Mark Trudenick's going in terms of his nature writing. Very exciting. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Peter. No worries. Great to have you here. Pleasure. Thanks, guys.